Margaret Scott was executed on September 22, 1692. From the status of her future husband, it's probable that they were a lower class family. Her husband, Benjamin Scott, died in 1671, leaving an estate of only 67 pounds and 17 shillings, which would have to support Margaret and her family for the rest of her life, as she never remarried. She was reduced to begging for survival. Margaret was arrested late in the events of the witch trials as part of the Andover witch hunt. Margaret's primary accusers were the two most prominent families in Rowley, the Nelsons and the Wycombs. Frances Wycombe testified that Margaret had begun tormenting her by choking and almost pressing me to death. Much of the evidence against her were from events that had happened five or ten years previous. A neighbor claimed that his two cows died because he denied her wood. She was a part of the last group to be executed.